Well, they have actually come out with this tactical buy report and they are saying that recently we have seen a 10% fall in supply, uh, share prices from the 52 week high because of a new uh, competitor coming in and one of the key products that is Albutrol. Apart from that, they are also expecting uh, Q4 to be muted given the fact that the India business performance was kind of weak and because of both these factors they are saying that the share prices have fallen. But uh, to counter that, the broker is saying that Albutrol's uh, contribution to the EBITDA is just 7% for FY24. In fact, on the EPS side, the contribution is much lower, which means that supply is not overly dependent on this product. And even if competition comes in, the impact on EPS for supply uh, would be limited. Apart from that, if you look at the valuations of supply, they are saying that the FY26 uh, PE is just 20 times, while its uh, peers are trading at a valuation of around 26 times. While if you compare it, and also if you compare it with the domestic branded focus companies, uh, they are trading at around 32 times uh, PE. So uh, valuations are very cheap for supply when compared to uh, its peers. Uh, now, apart from this, they are also saying that the base business of supply plus the land reotide uh, product and rev limit product all together have aided strong growth for Sipla in the past and even when in past they have seen the market share for Albutrol coming down, brokerages have gone ahead and upgraded their uh, financial uh, earnings estimate and rating uh, for Sipla. So despite uh, the competition coming in for Albutrol, they are not expecting much of an impact coming in for Sipla. Apart from that, they are also saying that the pipeline, forward pipeline for Sipla is also quite, quite strong and given the fact that the US generic market is also improving, that could be also one of the tailwinds for Sipla going forwards. So because of all these factors, Investec has given a tactical buy right now on Sipla. Let's look at Sipla actually. You know, this stock in a sense was really occupying a lot of attention last year because of that uh, so-called possible merger with Torrent and the deal did not go through. Post that, Sipla has come out with strong quarterly performance and the domestic market share has also done well. Again, 50% higher for Sipla in last one year versus what other pharma stocks have done, I guess Sipla has been a ranked outperformer. But Sipla has got this twin twin engine advantage. US generic is becoming better. Their dominance in the entire uh, so-called uh, inhaler space or the respiratory disease, I think, is super strong. And domestically also, they're growing higher than the industry average. Uh, the challenge for Sipla is that they are now at margins, which will be very difficult to really sustain or it will be difficult for them to keep on building their margin. So that really becomes a restrictive factor. But this is a stock where the cycle is favorable. It's a stock where market share gains are evident. It's a stock where product pipeline is strong. It's a stock where domestic market also seems to be growing. So I will not be surprised in the near term, given that pharma is going through a process of re-rating, looking at the current supply portfolio, that performance uh, will actually sustain or could sustain.